everybody. Welcome to another episode of His Turn, Her Turn. I am Lauren Fix the Car Coach. Hey. And? And I'm Paul Bryan from WLS Radio in Chicago. Good to be with you here. And here today is Ventura Harbor, just outside of Santa Monica, California. It's windy and beautiful, but we have something even more beautiful to show you. Ah, uh, yeah. The 2015 Volvo XC90. There are two versions. The T6 and the T8, which is a twin engine, right? Twin engine hybrid. It's it's really kind of a, a wonderful departure. We'll get into it a little bit further, but it's a twin engine. There's one in the front and one in the back. It's like having a Corvette and a Corvair all at the same <laughs> oh, time. God, that would be an interesting mix. Yeah. But we like to take you for a whole tour around the inside and outside. Remember, for Volvo, it's about design, it's about styling, and it's about the human interface, and that is their mission to change your opinion of Volvo. And, and it's also not abandoning their core belief mm -hmm. since 1927, I guess, right. or, or 29, right in there. Yeah, 27, uh, I believe. 2027, where their core mission is safety. Yes, and, it, they, and they invented the seatbelt. So when you think about it, every time you buckle up your seatbelt, thanks to Volvo, back in yeah. 1959. 59. Yeah. 59. Yeah. So let's take this thing for a spin. Uh, let's drive it instead. Okay. <laughs> We've departed uh, Ventura Harbor. Helga is, inter yeah, Helga is getting into this. I mean, and, and not to be confused with Helga, who's at home in my garage. Uh, now, this is the male or female voice you may choose once you own an XC, which is kind of cool. I mean, usually you get whatever they give you on the nav screen. Uh, and you can hear it. I mean, it's scooting right along. I mean, that was a 0 to 60 blast. At, That's that, at uh, that point. The new engine. Yeah, the, the new engine is really doing you as the driver a great favor. There's a lot of assist in here, and what I want to talk about is some of the safety systems that are in here. We experienced this this morning. There's there's a front collision, uh, a braking system that gets built into that. There's, the autopilot system? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's so many different systems. That and there's are the rear car. collision. The rear collision, which is That's pretty cool. interesting because what that will do is the seatbelt will, will tension you up and pull you back into it. The headrests have an anti-whiplash feature as well. And then after, if you do get hit from the back, right. you'll get hit, you'll be planted, and then the brakes will come on as well, which will prevent you from getting nerfed into the car in front of you. Right. Which is really good thinking on Free tensioners part. and load limiters, they're called on the seatbelts. And, and as I'm driving on the highway right now, I can feel the, the systems that if you come off to the side of the road, it's going to say, no, you don't want to do that because the cameras are reading the lane that you're in. And it's going to pull you back in. And I've got to give them high marks because it's not as intrusive as some of the other systems that we've driven in the past. And he always complains about I these would, lane change departure I, I systems. I whine about that like you whine about Back, the lumbar. lumbar. But this car has great seating comfort. I have yeah. not said a peep about the seating comfort today. But the seats give themselves up for you. They protect the occupants because instead of it being like um, the head restraints have active head restraints and as they come to catch your head if you get hit from behind, the same thing is sort of true when it comes to the lower cushion of the seat. The the frame of the seat gives itself up yeah. for the safety of the occupants in the vehicle, which is amazing. Four different, no one types, has of, four different types of steel plus aluminum that are used in the, in the yeah. roll cage and, and the construction of the car. It's really interesting when you take a look at these things in, in that kind of context and you see where they're using it and what it's designed to do and the way it's designed to crumple in and crumple away right. from the survival cell of a vehicle. Right, a lot, of, a lot of manufacturers have utilized that type of technology where the car gives itself up for the passengers. Uh, and this has great crash test ratings. Remember, this is, we're talking about Volvo. This is the ultimate yeah. in safety. I do like that they have a built-in child booster seat. Yeah. And you can move the seat forward so in the middle so that it's closer to mom and dad or whoever is in the front seat. Um, but it also has the three rows, so if you're under 5'6", the third row works for you, but the second row has heated seats. And there's a lot of nice nuances. They really thought about almost every single thing we could think of. But it, it has the um, Volvo communications also for SOS or on call if you've got a problem, which is nice. Um, the huge glass roof. 
really like that as I'm well. A fan of that. Now, we're, what we're driving, by the way, just so we should know, is this is the T6. It's an all-wheel drive, and this is the inscription, so it's the middle one. Current, the total price is $66,705. It has the vision package, the climate package with the heads-up display, the convenience package, and the Bowers and Wilkins premium sound, which is $2,500. Just want to say they do have the four-corner air suspension. That's an $1,800 package. Yeah. Lots of standards. There's a maintenance package, complimentary factory scheduled maintenance for the first three years or 36,000 miles. So they're looking to go head-to-head -head with BMW on that. BMW does offer that as well. Right, and that's in their X5 would be the direct competitor in this case. So lots of standard features. I think they've done a nice job and they should be very proud of the results. And the design and styling really will not let you think that this is a Volvo. They got a contender. The contender. <laughs> so as you can tell, this car is chock full of technology. It's chock full of safety. It's chock full of all of the things that you would expect. Right. One of the things that, that really surprised me about it, and, I, and it shouldn't surprise me, because if you go back to the S80 10 years ago, right. they, they started moving away from box on box and yeah. aerodynamic bricks. Yeah. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous car. Right, and I love the design of the interior. Real wood, um, the safety features I love. Uh, one of the neatest things for me was the center stack, where you could actually touch things. It was like an iPad. It was so easy to use. It's as big as an iPad, too. And Top of the list for me, seating. <laughs> so much adjustment on this. I mean, great, you got lumbar and thigh support and, and, and you can adjustment under your leg. I mean, that's one thing I think with with a vehicle like this and the price point we're talking about, you know, entry levels in that mid 40s, depending how you load it up, you can go way into the 70s. Sure. But if you're going to the R-Type, which is coming into later this year, I think they did a great job thinking about what do people want. I think we were trying to come up with some negatives, and I said, well, it'd be nice if they had Wi-Fi, because when you're looking at the domestic yeah. competitors, Wi-Fi is there, and that Everybody's includes building the Germans. Way. I think overall we have a winner here for, for Volvo, yeah. you know, a few misses in some minor areas that really don't make much of a difference for most of us, and it's absolutely a must drive on if you're looking at this. Remember too that this brand is in a total renaissance right now. Absolutely. But three years from now, they say that this car will be the oldest car in their entire line. That's impressive. So there's there's a lot of new product that's coming oh, along. I'm excited them. to drive it, yeah. Yeah, I think good yeah. for them, good on them. And we'll be reviewing it, of course, on his turn, her turn, on our fan page, on our YouTube channel. Will be following us on Twitter. Of course, you can follow Paul at uh, on WLSAM.com. I tweet at the Paul Bryant, and Lauren is often a guest on my radio show on Saturday mornings on WLS. Uh, Drive with, Chicago with, with Paul Bryant. Uh, I've heard that guy. <laughs> uh, and and you can get that by uh, going to iHeartRadio, or you can listen if you're in Chicago or whatever. But, yeah, absolutely. But it streams there or podcast. Sure, you can subscribe to that yeah. too. And I am Lauren Fix, the car coach. You can follow me on my website, laurenfix.com. Sign up for the free newsletter, please. And or follow me on Twitter, Lauren Fix. She's worth following. I'm always putting up really good information on what's going on in the world. As it happens, I beat a lot of the national news stories to the internet, so make sure to follow me. Uh, and of course, we love your comments below. If you've test driven the vehicle, you know, we love to hear from you and your feedback is very important to us. And thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next episode.